The government plans to add 2,500 megawatts of nuclear power to the grid. Can the country afford this? Will it be safe? Will the tender process be fair and transparent? Dear SA wants to hear what you think. Let's discuss this with Rob Hutchinson. Very good morning to you, Rob Hutchinson. I believe you've heard from about 5,000 people, and the majority are concerned. Tell us more. Absolutely. Yeah, good morning, Jane. Yeah, that's so far um, in about a week, we've had about 5,500 people uh, participating in, in the campaign. And as you say, yeah, majority, it's really over 4,000 people who say no to no to nuclear. And the reasons are, are sometimes not uh, as, as what they should be. They, they range from a misunderstanding of nuclear all the way through to uh, fears of nuclear fallout and other valid concerns uh, regarding the whole tender process and, and other uh, other processes related to the procurement of, of the nuclear power. I mean, it's, it's a bit like Brexit, isn't it? You can't have a sort of binary question here. This sort of information needs to be provided to people. I mean, these concerns are, are genuine and real. I mean, how is it going to play out? Well, we don't know how it will play out. I, I suspect strongly that uh, we will see a nuclear uh, installation in, in South Africa. Um, no doubt, because we have the serious uh, problems with with ESCOM and and power delivery, and nuclear is is a is a viable option when it comes to what they're proposing within within their, their documents. They talk about uh, small to medium reactors instead of a large installation, which perhaps is is a way to uh, roll out a, a, a reliable power source in in our country. All right, and how do the questions about corruption impact the findings here and the tender process and all of those things that actually the entire country is concerned about because we know it's going to happen here. How do we prevent that from happening? Well, that's, that's exactly. We've got to keep a strong eye on, on the whole process right from the beginning right through to, through to the end. And as we've seen in the past, these tender processes seem to go under the radar and are hidden from, from public view. Um, however, in, in this process, we've caught it right in the beginning. Uh, it was started with the IRP uh, last year or, and, and the year before, which was, the nuclear procurement was proposed in there. And if we keep a strong eye on it, the public gets involved and stays involved, and then we can monitor it right through, through to, the, to the top. All right. And it's going to be working alongside Eskom, I believe. So the issues that affect Eskom and that make it not a viable pro prospect, how do we overcome that? Well, what they proposed is a perhaps partnership with private entities or with other government departments to um, keep Eskom sort of at, at bay and in check. And it all depends on whether ESCOM is, is broken apart, as was proposed uh, uh, some time ago. Um, if, the, if ESCOM is broken apart, then we'll see different players in different sectors. So there'll be one for generation, another, another for distribution, and, and, and so on. All right, Rob, if you are concerned, if somebody out there is worried, how do they get involved? What should they do? Well, the best way at this stage is to get involved in this initial process, which is uh, a process put out by, by NURSA, which we are facilitating on, on our website, where they've called for public comment on, on the document which they have released, which spell, spells out exactly how the procurement process will happen, what technology is used, and everything involved with, with the nuclear in, in installation. Um, the best thing to do is, is uh, we've provided a lot of documents and a lot of information there get involved, get uh, knowledge up on the whole thing, and then have your say on, on our website. And every, every comment will be uh, considered and acknowledged by government. So it's not, it's not a petition, whether for or against. Government is actually seeking valuable input as to the way forward, which is a great opportunity for the public to actually get involved in, in the outcome of, of this whole process. Mm. And to ensure some sort of transparency. Rob Hutchinson, thank you.